Some guys over there here with drips number 13. As usual, all links are gonna be in description, but follow them at your own risk. And we're gonna start with the most time sensitive stuff. This is the mint on Venturi. And if you're doing anything on Venom testnet, I would suggest to follow this project because they're probably gonna launch a lot more uh, projects from the Venom on their launch pad. So this is the NFT marketplace with the launch pad. And currently you can mint this NFT for the Venom news. You can also uh, follow this project if you want. The minting price here is just 0.1 Venom. We need to connect the wallet first. Then we need to follow Venturi on Twitter. And follow Venom news on Twitter. need to verify both and then we should be able to mint all right mint success and we should be able to see it in our profile i assume after a small delay you can also sell it on the marketplace if you want or you can buy something as i understand this is the second collection after the initial Venturi NFT marketplace collection. Now we move on to Injective. First of all, we got two OATs on Galaxy that you can claim. Tasks are purely social, just for the Discord and Twitter. The first OAT is Helix Supporter, and the second one is uh, Meter Early Access Pass. As usual with the Injective, gas is covered, and you can claim it on Polygon for free and also along the way you're getting some points. And this OAT is actually connected to one of the roles and we're moving on to their guild XYZ. And here you can see several roles including this early supporter for the meter early access pass. Let's try to refresh and this should be confirmed. Yes, this is confirmed. I also mean that the guild pin but this is obviously optional and also don't forget after you claim these roles to go on the discord into the channel early access roles and to verify them and lastly for injective they recently launched zilly so you can join that as well if you want and complete some quests next we have another campaign on galaxy from the combo network and hunter swap also purely social and keep in mind that this one is going to end fairly soon on 14th of july the oec is on binance and gals is also covered by combo network also it states that hunter nft is the proof of community of combo and hunter swap so that's always good next we have cashmere with some cryptic message on twitter they posted this short video with just a date of 12th of july and then they posted this tweet with a picture saying decrypt the image but if you look closely on this picture or change the colors the middle states early goat so if you haven't used cashmere for some reason i don't know possible now i think would be a good time to do it and also if you've done it a long time ago you can go back to the app maybe do a couple transactions on the test net and also if you're not familiar with the application i will put the link to the initial video about the cashmere in description as well also if you want to go complete ham on it you can also acquire this uh, nft it was initially minted i believe like in may and early June it was possible to mint this one on Zora on Ethereum mainnet. If you want, you can buy it on secondary market on OpenSea as well. But again, this is completely optional. We don't know if that's gonna affect anything at all. Next, we're moving on to the activity on Omni. This one is from the asset pay, where you can mint the entry pass. So on the minting page, we connect the wallet, switch into Omni testnet, and now we can mint we obviously need to have some omni and if you haven't used the omni network link is also in description and when our mint is done we need to go to the asset pay discord obviously i need to verify it also verification here is a bit odd you need to click verify button then what will give you the capture then you need to 
put the command verify and use this one. And then you should see the window capture or text field capture where you actually put in the capture. Because if you just input that as a text, like slash verify and the capture, it's not going to work or you use other type of verify commands. And so after the minting, be sure that these details show that you have one NFT in your wallet. If it shows zero, just refresh the page, then reconnect the wallet and you should see at least one NFT in your wallet on Omni testnet. Then we're going to take a screenshot of this. And on the Discord, there is a channel Omni Testnet Pass. You're gonna see that as empty because you won't have permission to see the history. And we're gonna input this here. Alongside our wallet address. And also for the asset pay, you can join the Zilli and more information about the project can be found on their social media channels as always. Next, we're moving on to Cardao. We previously already interacted with this application where we minted the Claimer Passport NFT. If you haven't minted, first you need to mint the Claimer NFT and then uh, you can come back to this page with the verifiable credentials. Again, connect the wallet, sign in. And what this is, we put in our credentials on chain and these are going to be on ZK Sync era mainnet. So here for verifiable credentials, first of all, you need to connect whatever you want to verify out of these uh, four. We have Twitter, Discord, email and Steam. And I assume each one gives 100 points. So after you verify that, you can upload it on chain. Also, there is an option to add all of these here in order to do it via one transaction. You will still pay gas as you would for four separate transactions. So you're not really winning anything here. But let's try to do that. As you can see, gas is very high because it's for four transactions effectively. Yeah, this is probably not going to work because for these settings, MetaMask is saying I cannot put more than 7.9 mil. Okay, let's try to put 7.8. Maybe this will go through, but I don't think so, to be honest. Oh, it got confirmed. Cool. So if that's not going to work for you and you cannot put high gas because of the MetaMask settings, you can just put them one by one on chain. And as you can see, now we got 400 points for Cardao and also some transactions on ZK Sync Era mainnet. And also, as far as I remember, the Cardao uh, error job should happen in August. So we'll see if that will have any effect on it. But in the meantime, we're done here. And also another NFT on ZK Sync mainnet is going to be an owl pass from the Omni C. Quoting from the official announcement on Twitter and Repost on uh, Discord, the OmniC whitelist pass NFT introduces a new form of participation in the most exciting drops on OmniC. Owl Pass grants you a lifetime access to exclusive group of users eligible for whitelist slot raffles on OmniC. So this thing has a price of 0.0015 ETH and the campaign itself is pretty short. It's gonna end in two days. So let's check out how minting is going to look like. Okay, I'm going to drop it to one mil. So total would be around three bucks if this transaction is going to be confirmed. Yeah, it is confirmed. Success, minted NFT is in your wallet. Also, if you want to play with it, maybe like sell it later on on the secondary market, you can mint pretty much as many as you want. As far as I understand, at least it says you can mint a thousand per wallet. And also OmniC has Zilli. If you want to join and participate in the quest, the link also in description. Next, we got campaign from MySwap on the Starknet. This is the four part campaign when you can complete the quest and mint yourself an exclusive NFT from MySwap. I've completely slept on week one. Currently, week two is active and it's going to be active until July 
12th and you can read challenge instructions here other than that really not much happening on starknet currently everybody's waiting on the big update so hopefully when that goes live it's gonna improve the network and we're gonna see more campaigns for more dApps. and also speaking of the starknet you probably saw the kakarot zk evm project the main reason people are talking about this is that one of the angels is Vitalik Buterin and obviously that draws uh, some attention. The only thing here I want to point out that they recently launched the Discord so it would be a good idea to join as early as possible. That's all I wanted to cover in these drips. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't yet and I'll see you next time.